Hello, everyone. Um, all we have here uh, in the game it seems to be a runner. Um, it's called Drift Force. I have looked at the, um, the store page and I've watched the trailers. It looks pretty exciting. So randomly generated tracks and you just keep on playing until you crash. Uh, and so there you have it. Um, it looks more like a runner instead of a race. Um, oh wow, uh, different seeds. Uh, wait, the seed is used to randomly generate levels. What is the point of having seeds if they're randomly generated levels? Hmm. Track mode, uh, block mode, space mode. I have no idea what that is. Drones, uh, looks like we can Okay, so we can uh, customize, okay, okay, so there's the default drone, and then, okay, okay, let's not change any colors or anything, leaderboard, options, um, I, did, I did come in here and mess with the resolution and such, uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was on a, it was default setting on a slightly lower resolution, and I changed it to my default resolution, um, so, yeah, Anyway, let's just start, right? Um, map seed one. Turn controller left stick or D-pad, mouse arrows or, or sorry, keyboard arrows or mouse strafe. Uh, controller right stick and boost is controller triggers. So strafe hands with a stick and triggers are boost. Survive as long as possible and collect power up speed automatically increases the longer you survive. You strafe on the appropriate side to slide on enemy energy walls without taking damage. Um, orbs and energy walls grant combo points. After collecting 5, the score is counted. Along with bonus score and multiplier, collect 5 points quickly for more bonus score. Boosting increases the combo multiplier, yellow grants score, green grants score, and boost energy, blue grants score and life. Okay, let's just head into map seed 1. And... Uh, I already forget what the controls are. Okay, so turn, strafe... Uh, right, okay. Let's... Let's... Uh, Okay. Well, isn't that a start? <laughs> okay, so let's try to do a wee touch better. Hey, look, windmills in the distance. Uh, where am I going? Uh, that was the energy wall, and we have collided. Okay. Um, wow, this is, I feel like, um, finesse controls is beyond me. It's going way faster than, uh, than I anticipated. I can barely keep track of what's going on on the screen. Um, uh, so... Pardon me if I'm not going to say anything coherent or intelligible for a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying my best to actually stay alive here. What are those obstacles? Oh my goodness. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I've crashed and burned and died. Hmm, okay. Well. Uh. Let's, my mouth is already getting quite dry. I'm not sure how uh, random, I don't know, it seems, the track seems kind of familiar, doesn't it? Or am I just imagining things? There's the windmills again, so I'm not sure about those randomly generated maps. What? Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, when I saw this game, I was really excited. 
it kind of really reminds me of this game that I really love to play. It's called Velocibox. Alright, and not to put in a plug for a different game here, but... Um, uh, but that game is awesome. Uh, oh boy. Let's not talk about other games. I can't... I can I can barely even talk about this. What? Wait, why did I start here? Um, I don't understand. Uh, but okay, we'll take it. Well, I seem to be... I was just going to say I seem to be surviving a wee touch. Why am I starting here? I don't understand. What makes it so that I'm not starting at the starting point? Um, I have no idea. So... And now I'm back at the starting point. Let's see if this track is the same. If it's if the randomly generated track actually gener gives you the same seed every time, or I don't know how it works. It's kind of odd, right? There's seeds, and then it says it's randomly generated. But so far, what I can see, the track seems to look very similar to each other. So, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the random generation is. We can go back and try seed one and try to gener uh, you know, instead of clicking restart, because th this track actually looks very familiar to me. And now that I've played it a few times, it seems to be the same track. Or maybe just the energy orbs spawn in different uh, uh, locations. I really, I am not sure. Oh, I clearly haven't used my turbo yet. Uh, <clears throat> because the... Well, the map actually goes fast enough for me that I don't feel the need to actually do any turbo, but let's try turbo! What does that do? Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Clearly turbo kills me, but it also did increase my score, so... <laughs> well, these, um... Hmm. Okay. That is a new high score. Time, 1 minute, 18 seconds. I, I, I looked at the achievements before I started. One of the achievements is for surviving uh, for... for um, 4 minutes. And the other one's surviving for 8 minutes. Uh, and then some other stuff. I don't know. I think score related achievement maybe. Uh, what does that do when you go hiking on an energy wall? What does it do? Who knows? Who knows? I'm also not paying attention at all to the um, the heads up display on the bottom there. I, I just don't feel like I have enough self-awareness to even look at it in detail. Oh boy. There's an energy wall we missed. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when you go in turbo mode. Um, how does the score work? Oh boy. Well, that didn't work out, did it? Found replacement connecting. So it seems like something happens. Uh, I got an achievement. I have no idea what it is. Uh, wouldn't dare to look at it right now. Also don't want to hit the turbo. Oh boy. You know, I think that gateway, how do you go about that gateway? Oh, I probably got an achievement for 50,000 points. Uh, okay, so we've clearly looked at that map again and again. Let's just try seed one again. Uh, I'm not really sure what does it mean to randomly generate level if the map, the track, it says it's supposed to be randomly generated track, so let's just see if the track is the same or not. Um, I'm really not sure. No, the track is not the same. Right. Oh my goodness! Yep, the track is not the same. So I don't know what the C generation is or how it does. 
um, why it is that when you, I, I guess, you know, when the game just restarts with the same seeds, it gives you a better opportunity to actually get used to driving mechanics and not have to worry too much about, uh, I don't remember what these orbs do, but I remember some of them give health, some give them speed, and some give score and combinations. Um, okay. This looks familiar. Whoops. Searching drones. Found replacement. Does that mean we just start off from... Yeah, we just start off from kind of the... the, the place where the... We get a replacement. Once again, this, this track looks similar, but I think maybe the random... Whoops. I think the, maybe the random generation of levels is partly randomly generated, partly based on predetermined pathways, so that even if you have randomly generated segments, it's uh, still going to be partly, um, it's still going to be partly sort of familiar and expected, just kind of like, uh, because if everything is randomly generated, you can see sort of a hectic uh, kind of a hectic driving system where nobody knows what's going to happen you come around the bend and all of a sudden you get a ton of bricks uh, I mean uh, that could happen anyway right but um, at least this way you, you can have a segment where you know oh hey look there's an energy wall after that there's this kind of a multi column columnated uh, section maybe the there's like several that several possible uh, section out layouts I'm not sure but this one looks very similar to the first seed that I played with uh, with that same energy wall to the left there of where I just was um, and of course that thing that thing that is my nemesis that I have died to how many times now? Is it like every time I come down there, I am not able to actually survive long enough to go around the bend. Let's go around this way. Oh, went past there, but just hit a pillar. Yeah, not that that's what I wanted. Okay, let's try um, Mapsy 2 and just see how different it feels and looks. Uh, as you can see, I'm clearly terrible at this game, so... So, there's map C2, we go in the tunnel... Oh, boy. It's kinda hard for me to even see what the heck is going on. Um, I am... hardly... experienced or good. I enjoy these kind of games. But I'm definitely not... Uh, experienced uh, nor at all good okay so these two energy walls are very close to each other here um, hey but at least I'm doing better than my first run right <clears throat> where I just kind of crashed into walls and died and uh, you know ooh, well this is different Wah! sorry um, Okay. They, oop. Yep. Okay. I thought that was a path, right? But instead it was a column. So, <laughs> major difference in what I was going to get out of it. Okay, let's avoid the column. There we go. And avoid that column. There is no way to break in this game, is there? There is no such thing as slowing down. You only go fast or faster. Maybe to you it doesn't seem all that fast, but oh boy, am my feeling the pressure? Um. Okay, let's just try to stay alive as long as we can. See how far I can get. I'm not gonna do the turbo. 
I, I can I can see myself kind of get used to one track uh, with the same seed. Uh, and uh, sort of keep on restarting and improving and grinding my way up to those achievements. I mean, even the four minute achievement is a way long stretch because there is so much going on and just like that, you know, your, your run comes to an end. And that was, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds. It feels like it's a long time, but I know, I know it. Yep, died in the same place. Anyway, I know it's a very short distance. Yeah, total time, one minute, two seconds. All right, now we know, let's just go click on random map, see what happens. This is, is this still C2? It's not very clear, but based on this portal to begin with, it seems like it's probably still C2. I don't know what random map means. Is it me actually switch to a different map from what I was playing? It certainly looks that way, right? It looks like an amalgam, a mishmash of the first two levels that I was playing. Um, and I, I can see myself kind of getting used to how things are. Uh, I don't know what happens when you go on the energy wall. Um, does my score multiplier go up? Do I go faster? I just have no idea. Um, but I'm certainly doing... But okay, so... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't talk about doing better because there is only worse. Doing worse after that. Mm. Oh, I had a straightaway. At least that wasn't a turn into those uh, sort of doorways. There's a, a fair chance that I could... Oh boy. Fair chance that I could kill myself. That, that's what it was. Uh, let's sort of preemptively head in. There, we made it through those kind of column doorways finally. Oh no! Clearly that is once again the same column that I died on the second map. Oh wait, what is this? Oh. Started off in a place that was uh, perhaps a little map seed. So there you go. There's a map seed. Tells you how long you survive or your score is. Um, track mode. Survive infinite track with limited lives. Block survive. Y track filled. Increasing number of boxes. Space, survive on a windy track with sharp turns on loops. Um, interesting. Let's try these. Uh, was I on track mode? I don't know. Let's go to track mode. What was track mode? I, uh, of course, neglected to actually reread the description on track mode. And so now I'm not sure. It's kind of... Um, what are those things firing off in the side there? What does it mean? Oh my goodness! There was a jump! Um, yep, welcome to Across the Gap. Did I restart on the same map? I have no idea. Okay, let's... It looks that way, doesn't it? Let's um, try to do a little better this time. So C gap, just kind of go straight across the gap. Okay, there's the gap. Oh my goodness, another gap. And another gap. It is just a constant number of jumps over. Um, yeah, I can, I can restart this. I, I could, I could uh, try this again. I just hit the boost and hit the boost and let's try to stay alive. This is where I died last time. Okay, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another jump and 
too many jumps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't hit the boost in places you're not familiar with. 43 seconds. Yeah. Let's, uh... What was track mode? Infinite track, limited lives. Okay. That makes sense. Block mode. This is probably where I'm just going to die left and right. Just run into blocks, right? Uh, um, let's see. Let's just take a peek. Let's just take a peek. Oh boy. Um, 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 excuse me. Um, somebody clean up all the obstacles off the tracks, please. This is a racetrack. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be uh, some embarrassingly quick deaths, but that's okay. Oh! Yeah, did I die on that same set of blocks? I have no idea. I'm just not responding fast enough. Score zero? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Alright, you didn't see that. Score zero. Let's... Right, of course, you only score by collecting blocks, right? So, they're not blocks, uh, orbs. So, of course, I'm not gonna score anything by not collecting any orbs, but things are going by too quickly, and I'm getting kind of jumpy. So, excuse me for the exclamations. Um, Alright, so that's block mode. Let's try space mode. Windy track, sharp turns on loops. Yeah, this will show you why I can't play Mario Kart. Um, well, am I still going to be collecting orbs? Oh man, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's zero points, right? I didn't collect anything. So, um, yeah. So I wonder if there's a way to actually input those seeds if you want to just train on a particular track. Uh, that's potentially a, a possibility. I didn't see... Right, one more time. One more time. These uh One, more time. I mean, it's so easy to just say one more time and by, before you know it, you've played 30 more times. All right, got a point. All right, yeah. Sharp turns, indeed. It's not the track has sharp turns. You're just redirecting to smaller channels. Wait, wait, wait! I got a yellow orb. That didn't give me any points. I have to get some points. So we'll try one more time. Or oh, how many times should I say to try? I don't know. Yeah, you can clearly see I'm having a good time. Okay, I am not having a good time with this mode, that is for sure. Map seed 1783430. Let's see if there's a place to put in map seeds. No, there is not. Just random map uh, under normal mode. Um, wait, so seed 1. I'm just going to go back to this, see if... I, I really don't see how random this is. I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out is what I'm trying to say, right? The beginning looks very similar to the the, the first track that I played. Um, now this still looks like the first track that I played. It's, it's kind of getting used to the visual elements that are on the screen as they're flying by that gives you a um, pretty good idea of what to expect. And again, this looks just like the first track that I played, so let's wait until the... Oh. This is going to start me here. Okay, well, that's fine. kind of kind of tough going around this corner oh hey that was a slightly delayed explosion uh, since looks like I was somehow gonna clip through that wall there before the ship exploded let us just uh, 
play this cautiously. What does that do? Uh, why are there so many pillars around that bend and right past there? I got a new high score. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so there you have it. Drift Force. Um... There's a lot of, um, a lot of, um, map one, rank number one, eight minutes and 51 seconds, so one person got that, where am I, 14, with one minute and 30 seconds, wait, how, oh, by score, oh, on the, oh, okay, there's a by score and by time, I see how it is. Um, interesting, map 2, map 3, 4, 5, 6, random map, um, track mode, yeah, I mean, I, I had gotten nowhere with that. Okay, well, um, not exactly what I was expecting, um, it's just different, you know, I, I, I saw unlock this by going 30, 300,000 points, unlock that by beating level 4. Well, it looks like I'm stuck with this drone, and then you can just change the colors. I don't know what will be a good combo. Red, green, yellow, purple. I don't know. Um, what was the default? Ooh, the icon changes. Nice. Okay. So what do I think about Drift Force? It's clearly a runner, not necessarily a race. Uh, it's just a survival runner. There's a lot of places where you die. There's a lot of places where you die very easily. The controls work pretty well on the controller once you get used to it. I certainly didn't have any issues. I was using the D-pad on the left side for directions and strafing, of course, using the right stick. Um, boost, I was using the right trigger at times when I was boosting, but clearly I was boosting when it didn't matter because I was dying quickly enough as is and didn't really need to speed up my deaths that much. Um, I didn't play with a keyboard, but I assume the responsiveness is going to be relatively the same. Um, graphics, you can clearly see this is an indie title. There's a lot of polygonal, um, blocky, kind of a non-smooth nature, and the explosions look all the same. There's no other sprites on the screen, so can you call this a race? I have no idea. You can call it whatever you want to call it. The environment looks pretty. Um, a lot of... I wouldn't necessarily even say re randomly generating tracks or elements in the, the... There seems to be a progressive... Once it's set, it's the same levels and um, the backgrounds are similar. You know, in, on this particular track that's on the screen for the display on the title screen. There's those pyramids. You often run into those uh, windmills, and then um, it, it's the same graphical elements that repeat. Is it necessary? Is it important? Not really. I mean, you're not really staring at it when you're playing. You're probably looking at it as a bystander when you're not playing, but uh, you're really trying to pay attention to the road. It is really hard sometimes to see the difference between what is a path and what is an upcoming pillar. And perhaps there's just elements that I'm not responding to quickly enough, just because I haven't played long enough. But clearly, um, you know, I'm having a good time. Initially, when I saw this game, before I even saw the trailers, I was thinking, ooh, this is very similar to Velocibox, and that's a game that I have thoroughly enjoyed. Um, a very Twitch-friendly, or Twitch-mad game. Um, 
this one has a little bit more control in terms of uh, directional finesse strafing um, but it's all about collecting orbs so in that game collecting boxes and staying alive avoiding obstacles so you can think about it that way so it, it's similar but different um, anyway enough comparing with that game it's a much older game less graphical huzzah as this game is but both indie projects and both pretty fun um, you got a pretty good idea about what the game is all about from this video so if you think you might like it you know go get it it's five bucks if you don't think you might enjoy it then you probably won't because it's just a whole lot of running and dying and running and dying rerunning and redying um, the good news is that the levels are all the same if you just keep on hitting restart it's the same seed again and again and again so I could see somebody you know getting used to a particular seed and then just getting better and better and better there is no way to enter the world seed back into the game to repeat a level you've previously played other than just let it regenerate and getting used to something that is a major flaw that I perceive I really think that if the game is going to tell you what the seed is, it really should give you the option of throwing that seed number back into the game so that you can keep on playing that track again and again and again. The game is hard enough without needing to completely generate everything randomly. You can use one track to sort of really hone your skills uh, and then sort of branch out from there. But yeah, it's just a option a developer choice I think for not allowing that maybe just because they don't want people to play the same track again and again it just seems like you're 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 putting a lot of stuff into chance into this random and procedural generation to a certain degree and if you play the same seat again and again it kind of defeats that purpose so I kind of understand the idea of the world seed um, 1 through 6 and then random is the 1 through 6 probably has the different sequences that you're going to see and it allows you to sort of explore different aspects of the game a, a bit um, even as a very much beginning player alrighty I think I've said enough and you probably have seen enough thank you for watching if you like it go get it I'm going to put the link to the Steam store page in the video description below. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.